Welcome to the lecture series of Power Electronics. In this session, I am going to discuss what do you mean by pulse modulated inverters and also how does it operate. Let's come back to the session. The pulse modulated inverters are a type of inverters which control both the output voltage and frequency by using the pulse modulation techniques. Okay, there are different types of pulse modulation technique. Using the pulse modulation technique, we are going to control the output voltage and the frequency. So definitely we are talking about the output voltage that will be like a sinusoidal. Obviously it will, it will be having amplitude as well as frequency. We are going to control both amplitude and frequency. They create AC waveform by switching the output on and off in a rapid pulses. This is what exactly the pulse modulated inverter does. Okay, so remember PWM will be having both on period and off period. You know that. So let me draw like a pulse will be like this. We will be having on period and we are having off period. Okay. So uh, we, we can mark this is your on period and this will be the off period, off duration. Oh, correct. So all together we call it as uh, the total time period. Total time period is the sum of on period and as well as off period. And if you want to like uh, take a duty cycle, uh, it will be ratio of on period divided by uh, total time period. Actually, by controlling the duty cycle, uh, we can uh, the control the output voltage, right? So same concept is applying here. So with respect to on period and off period, you can uh, control the output voltage, right? Yeah. So there is a schematic uh, diagram of the pulse modulation technique. And as you can see, we have uh, the input voltage which is from the regulated power supply or like a solar panel uh, then we are applying the PWM technique here PWM modulation method we are going to use and we have the power electronic switches either I can go for MOSFET or IGBT so the PWM we have to generate and we have to we can go for either analog method or digital methods uh, the ultimately uh, the, we are able to obtain the AC output voltage okay this is what exactly uh, happening uh, in the case of uh, sinusoidal, uh, sorry, uh, the pulse width modulated inverter. Now, uh, like, uh, let us see the further, further, uh, like, uh, details of pulse modulated inverters. It is a most common type of, uh, like, modulation which adjusts the duration, width you are going to adjust, width in the sense, on period you are going to adjust. That means duty cycle is directly proportional to on period. By adjusting the on period, you are going to control the output voltage. Also, we can say like uh, by varying the pulse width, okay, uh, like uh, the PWM inverters can control the average output voltage. Even shape can be controlled, okay. Uh, similarly, the compared to other type of inverters, uh, no, like external control, uh, here the main advantage is harmonic content become very less. That is another plus point of pulse modulated inverter. That is what most popularly used inverter is like a pulse width uh, modulated inverter. How does it operate? Uh, the inverter generate pulses at high frequency. Usually the switching frequency will be very high. So that is the switching frequency that lies in between uh, these two intervals that is plus PDC and minus PDC. The width and frequency of these pulses are adjusted so that the resulting waveform will be similar to uh, AC sine wave because uh, on and off period will be taken place. Okay, so we'll be adjusting such a way that you are able to obtain the output voltage as similar as that of sinusoidal uh, waveforms. Filters are com oftenly used with uh, uh, remove the noises, unwanted signals and make the waveform uh, much closer to pure sine wave. Therefore, the harmonic content will be comparatively less in the case of pulse uh, with um, pulse modulated inverter. The main advantage is uh, efficiency is one of the major advantages of PWM inverter uh, compared to other type of inverter. Even uh, like a uh, uh, control control will be very easy we can easily adjust the voltage and frequency by changing the uh, the width of the pulses okay then harmonic content is less compared to other type of uh, inverter and we can save the requirement of additional filters and uh, cost system complexity can be minimized so the classification of pulse modulated inverters are single pulse modulation multiple pulse modulation sinusoidal pulse modulation modified sinusoidal pulse modulation, ultimately space vector pulse width modulation. These are the classification of pulse modulated inverter. In the coming video, I am going to discuss how does single pulse modulation operate. So what are the requirement of single pulse width modulation? 
so major applications are uh, focused in especially in the motor drive okay also like a renewable energy power generation from solar inverter you might have heard so here we are applying the pulse width modulated inverter technique and the ups design the uninterrupted power supply we will be using pulse modulated inverters also vft variable frequency drive for controlling the motor speed because uh, by adjusting the uh, pulse width we can control the voltage as well as frequency that is the most application of vft variable frequency drive so this is the basic idea about pulse modulated inverter in the forthcoming session i am going to discuss the types of pulse modulated inverters for the better understanding so also i am going to explain the design using matlab so if you have any queries related to this topic please feel free to me reach uh, feel free uh, to reach me uh, through the comment box even i can share the notes also happy learning have a great day thank you so much for watching this video